Robinson Crusoe, His Man Friday, Friday's father and the Spaniard, decided to get away from the island, but not immediately as the Spaniard suggested to postpone the operation for another six months. The reason is because they do not have enough food for a long journey, and the other reason was that Friday's father informed Crusoe that there were 16 other men in the slaughterhouse who would like to join them if they could be rescued. So they continued to make plans to escape by planting enough crops to last them throughout their journey, and they also cut down more trees to make fresh boats that would be strong enough to face the sea. Everything was planned and they were ready to sail off. But just as they could sail off, Crusoe saw a boat coming towards the island. As he looked closer, he could see 11 men on board with three of them tied up. Eight men immediately got drunk and left the prisoners. Soon the men went into the woods and slept off as they were drunk. So immediately taking this as an opportunity, Crusoe and Friday went to the three prisoners and released them. The three men told Crusoe that there had been a mutiny on the ship and one of them was the captain. So the mutineers or the rebels were captured and all their weapons were taken away. They were given a choice either to face dead on the spot or promised to be faithful to the captain. The mutineers agreed to the terms because they had no other choice. Meanwhile, a search party sent out by the remaining mutineers on the ship were captured too and were made prisoners. The captain told the captured mutineers that the island was inhabited and run by the Englishman named Robinson Crusoe. The prisoners were divided into two groups, one who chose to be loyal and the other who would be left behind on the island. Finally, they decided to make their journey home to England with the second group of mutineers. So Crusoe left the island on the 11th of June, 1687, after being away for 35 long years. When Crusoe reached England, he found that most of his family had died. He then went to Lisbon along with Friday and found that the plantation he left behind was doing very well. He then sold off his plantation for a good price and married and had a family of his own. After his wife died, he went back to the island and even went on further adventures for the next seven years which he says he would write down in another book. So with this, we come to the end of Robinson Crusoe.